Hi, Hooker J here. I don't know about you, but have you had it up to here with these Pete Puma Democrats? The Pete Puma Democrats. You know the ones. They're the ones who are all... Vote <laughs> blue no matter who. <laughs> let, me in, let me let you in on something. Vote blue no matter who makes no logical, credible sense whatsoever. None. It's, it's morally, ethically, logically, and spiritually bankrupt. It's the equivalent of walking into a pawn shop with an appraised antique and a blinking neon sign over your head said, <laughs> Rope on my ass. <laughs> and then having the gall to one, bitch about the lowball offer. <laughs> Two, accepting the lowball offer because there's no other pawn shops around. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Three, guilt trip and gaslight everybody else that refused that asshole pawnbroker's lowball offer. In other words, anybody that spews vote blue no matter who, reveal who the real entitled generation was all along, and it sure as fuck wasn't the millennials. It's the goddamn boomers again, as George Carlin would say. <laughs> because they haven't left the fucking pawn shop's parking lot since 1968. For, for over 50 years, they've been bitching and screaming, Hey, he was entitled to that. And you were supposed to accept his offer like we did. How dare you? He was entitled to defeat the great Republican Spooky. He was entitled to the Supreme Court nominations. He was entitled to this and entitled to that. Bullshit. The only thing that asshole pawnbroker was entitled to, and his useful idiots was entitled to, is to pound their pisses, bones, wines, and grapes into sand, and to pound that sand and clean up their ass. Because that antique is your vote, and your vote is your consent to be governed. Right? Of course. And guess what? You hocked it. You pawned it. You have no right to complain. You are the weakest link of bite.